What's up, my name is Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to install MongoDB on your Debian server, in my case, Debian 11. Of course, this will also work for Ubuntu as well. I'll be mostly following along with the guide on MongoDB, which you'll find linked in the description down below. Regardless, I've gone ahead and SSH'd into my server using Visual Studio Code, though it doesn't really matter how you're connected to your server, just as long as you have root access. So first of all, referring to this page over here, I'll simply copy the first command here to install MongoDB Community Edition. I'll paste it in and run it, then scrolling down. If you receive an error about GNUPG, run this command, then retry importing the key. We'll scroll down a bit further and copy the next command. Currently, it's only for Debian 10, but this will work with Debian 11, so I'll copy this, paste it in, and hit enter. Then scrolling down once more, reload local package database, copy, sudo apt get update, and it'll go ahead and update our apt. When it's done, we'll need to install the MongoDB packages. So I'll copy the first command here, paste it in, and it'll start installing MongoDB community. As simple as that. There we go. Clear. And we'll scroll down a bit further to running MongoDB community edition. To start, we'll set it up with systemd or systemctl so it always runs in the background as soon as our service starts up. I'll copy this, paste it in, and now MongoD is starting. If you receive an error, run the following command and verify that it's running properly. sudo systemctl status mongod, paste enter, you can see it's running. To get it to start with our server, we'll run sudo systemctl enable mongod, and now it'll start up with our server. Awesome. We can, of course, stop it with systemctl stop mongod and restart mongod whenever we edit the config files. Now to simply connect to it, we can run mongosh or mongo sh. Pasting it in, we should get into the server. As simple as that, there's our connection command as well as a bunch of information about our service, about our file system, but I'll control Z or control X to exit out of it and let's set up our service so we can connect to it from elsewhere on the internet rather than just local host. So I'll sudo nano slash etc slash mongo d dot conf, not confg, whoops, there we go. And inside of here, we can edit the file to change bind IP from 127001, which is localhost, to four zeros, 0 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. Control S and Control X. Then we'll need to sudo service mongod restart and hit enter. Now, mongosh, you'll see that we can still connect to our server. It's running as we'd expect, but we can open up mongodb compass on our computer and we can enter our connection string here. So copying the connection string that we saw a bit earlier, instead of 127001, I'll click advanced, leave it as mongodb and we'll change our host to be whatever our host is over here. So I'll paste in my IP address and click connect. Then it'll connect to our server and it should hopefully work. It doesn't, well, you may have a firewall set up. In my case, I definitely do. So I'll run sudo ufw, as this is the firewall that I'm using, allow, and we'll allow the server through. In my case, it's 27017. There we go. Now I should be able to connect and things work exactly as we had hoped. We've now connected. It's a standalone cluster. We can check the databases. Currently it's admin, config, and local. Everything's the perfect default and working as per usual. Anyways, that's really about it. There's not much else to the setup. You've now set it up and it's internet facing. So you can connect locally and of course remotely from a different computer and we've even allowed it through the firewall. So that's really about it. Thank you all for watching. My name is Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.